The last weekend of October in Chicago was the deadliest weekend all year. 17 people were killed and 42 others were wounded in shootings across the city. In this shooting, one person was killed and another was wounded in a near west side shooting early Sunday. The shooting happened at 2.59 a.m. in the 2200 block of West Jackson. Two males were driving in a car heading westbound on Jackson when a man fired shots from another vehicle. One man was shot and pronounced dead at the scene, and the other male was shot in the leg and his condition was stabilized. The shooter or shooters are still large. A man was shot in the leg in his basement at 62nd and Honoree in the Inglewood neighborhood on Chicago's south side. The circumstances of this shooting are unknown. The man was taken away by ambulance in stable condition. Two men were shot early Sunday in the heart of Chicago neighborhood on the Lower West Side. The men's ages are 20 and 22. They were driving at around 2.40 a.m. in the 2100 block of South Oakley when they were fired upon from this vehicle in the video. The shooters both bailed from the car after crashing. The blood-stained door on the shooter's car is a clear indication that one of the shooters that bailed was shot by the two men that were shot at the hospital. The two men that were shot self-transported themselves to Mount Sinai Hospital. The younger man was shot in the arm, while the older man suffered a gunshot wound to the shoulder. They were both listed in good condition. When all the available facts were added up, they clearly show this shooting was gang-related. The shooter, or shooters, are still at large. Monroe, shot fired in the, uh what people don't know is 70% of all the incoming radio reported complaints of crime in the minority neighborhoods of Chicago come from other minorities asking for help from the cops. The sheer volume of the calls coming in regularly show these communities are working anonymously with the Chicago police to stop the criminal gang element from destroying their communities. The leadership of Black Lives Matter want police to stop patrolling in these communities and allow these communities to police themselves. The people that live in these neighborhoods know better. They truly understand the reality of the desperate situation they are in and are working with the police because they know without the police, they would have to surrender their neighborhoods to the criminals. Maggio News signing off.